we're going to do div. Now this is going to be our two in front and behind divs. We're going to also give them a width of 900 pixels and a height of 500 pixels and we're going to position these absolute now this means that wherever these are positioned they're not going to affect anything else around them they'll be layered on top of each other okay now because we've in the HTML code this behind div comes before the in front div whatever's last is going to go on top whatever's behind is going to go underneath so what's going to happen is this is going to be put behind and this is going to be put in front now currently what I'm going to do instead actually is I'm going to move that from there I'm going to put him there um, this is also in a div this is going to be the same height and width but um, this is going to go behind now and they, you'll never see this because this this back image is never faded out or it's, it's always displayed it's always there so this is going to be hidden behind it so that's all the styling we need for now I do believe so only thing that's left is the dreaded test All right. oh we've got lift off we did something there you go and I actually cannot believe this but it's working by Joe it's working perfect so the only the only thing I really noticed let's hit control F5 our first image was that beach and it's quickly changed there so we don't want that to be fair so what we're going to do is change this to three. This is this is going to be um, images of slideshows three, which is fine. It's going to be the same number because we want this. Oh, where have we gone? We've gone on the wrong page. We want this to be the last image in the slideshow. So when this function starts, it's going to instantly change the image, and we want it to change it to the first one. Okay, so now that we've done that although I'm not sure this is going to work oh it did work which is good I think yep there you go beautiful absolutely perfect surprisingly first strike and it worked so yeah that's that is perfect that's how it's supposed to be working right um, in the future I will do a tutorial including some kind of controls for this so you can stop pause next previous that kind of thing um, but as I said that will be in the future for now this is a brilliant tool for changing images quite simply between um, from either your gallery or your banner as, as I showed you earlier this does exactly the same thing but as it's, he's a van tuner, this uh, client is having pictures of vans rotating. So, um, yeah, if you're ever wondering how to create an automatic slideshow, it does everything by itself, no controls, and that's how you do it. Um, I will include the source, which I'll put on the website, which is w3hut.com, w3hut.com. And um, I'll put a link to the source, which should be in the files folder. And uh, you can download all these documents I've used here. Now, it will include the Photoshop formats if you're wanting to edit these images or create new ones. It will kind of give you a template. So, you should, by now, have learned how to create an automatic slideshow. So, I hope you learned something, and I'm off now.